Hey everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine hunty, you can go ahead and get at because this reading right now is not for you. Okay, let us go ahead, jump right into it. Let us see what the messages are, you all. The spirit has here for our feminines on today. Thank you, spirit. I hope that you all are doing well. And in the event that you are not, I pray we can transmute that energy here and now for your benefit and the benefit of all those involved. All right. All right, y'all. Let us get into it. Let us see. Thank you, spirit. What are the messages for feminine? What does she need to know? What are the messages for feminine? What does she need to know? All right, let us see. Oh. Thank you, sir. A fiery climax approaches. Ooh. Okay, um, interesting. So you and someone are going to be speaking your truths. Emotions are running high. You feel away. They feel away. This is something that is necessary. Okay, so necessary. I feel like meditation and contemplation has already taken place. You've thought long and hard about how you feel, what you want to say. So have they. Now it's time to say it. Okay, conclusions are within reach. Say what needs to be said. Do what needs to be done and move on. Okay, whatever that means. We have emotions are running high again, and we have step out of your comfort zone, North Node. All right, so someone is going to do it. All right, they're just going to do it. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, now we keep hearing that. Okay, like, all right, Nike, just do it. All right, what's the underlining? Nothing will come of this situation. Somebody has been trying to make something work that they are now realizing is just not going to work. Okay, so let us see. What this is all about. What are we about to read on here, spirit? Let's get into the tarot. Someone wants to move things forward with you in a very positive way. This person is thinking long term. They're thinking, who am I going to build a life with? The world. I've evolved. I've grown. I've learned a lot. I've seen a lot. And I want this person. Okay. This stable, secure, abundant fruitful person your energy is really high nine of cups they feel you're everything that they could want in a person everything that they could want in a companion okay and it keeps coming out in that way so this person truly desires you all right we have the seven of wands here this is them being determined to stand up and fight for this connection they are not quite done with you yet okay that's what i just heard i'm not finished yet we have unfinished business all right will of fortune things are Going to move forward in the direction they're meant to move forward in all right pre-shuffle here we have one day at a time and nothing has changed i love you still all right so they're determined to close this cycle this cycle of pain heartache that both of you have been feeling and going through due to separation okay physical separation because twins are never separated your emotions are running high because you're in love, all right? Love has not been expressed is what it feels like because swords are all about communication, all right? We have six of swords. So in order for things to smooth out, there's going to have to be communication, even if that communication is a bit fiery and intense, all right? We have the fool. This is brand new energy coming in, which makes sense because when you end something, you have space for brand new beginnings, all right? You have room. So let us see, we have the Four of Cups. This person's fear is that if they were to communicate, you're not going to be interested in what they want to tell you or what they have to tell you. Okay, so this person has been observing, watching, and waiting for the right time to approach. All right, let us see what it feels like. What is this? We have the Eight of Cups. Some of you have already emotionally withdrawn to focus on your emotions because it's like you're, you have emotionally withdrawn from the connection temporarily to focus on your own individual emotions how do you feel about it all death card hermit card you know you've been in isolation going through some sort of spiritual transformation 
Okay. Or this is your person. Could be both of you. All right. The Empress. Yeah. All right. So they're coming toward their divine counterpart. Eight of Cups. They could be emotionally withdrawn from other connections as well to come toward you. That could be this world card. Ending things. Okay. Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment for you. This is your heart's desire. It's reuniting with your person. All right. Let's just call it what it is. Divine Feminine would be very, very happy about that. The Chariot. Okay. Things finally move in the direction with your person that you've always wanted them to go. Why wouldn't you be pleased? Okay. This is everything that your heart desires. Six of Pentacles, reciprocity, someone who you feel is equally yoked. They feel the same way. Four of Wands is 11-11. Energy, twin flames coming together. Eight of Pentacles is putting the work in on a solid, stable connection, building toward that. Ten of Pentacles. I see that there are people, external people. Not you, not your person, okay? Not spirit, you know, telling you guys that you shouldn't be together or that this is not the time or nothing. This is people outside of you all that are trying to intervene with the connection. Now, whether this be intentional or not, doesn't matter. Their energy is playing the role of some sort of interference. However, with the star card, there's divine protection, divine guidance, and this is the north node energy, north star, okay? So two of wands decision is made five of swords someone feels defeated now again with this five energy someone was doing everything in their power not to lose someone this could be someone that they were connected to someone that perhaps they're closing the door on and walking away from page of cups reconciliation apology seven of swords you not knowing if you can trust this person's apology are they being 1000 percent truthful with you when they return and in the event that you feel like they aren't, speak up on that. Yeah, this person may not be telling you everything. They may be leaving some things out. High Priestess, and you intuitively know that. That's not going to work for you. They're going to have to be 1,000% truthful and authentic, or nothing's going to come of the situation. And I feel like that's what this is about. So, yeah, it says the answers you need are coming. Yeah, because if they realize that I'm not going to get anywhere with my person unless I'm 1,000% open and honest with them adjustments are required then yeah let me go ahead and make those adjustments and now look a win-win outcome is forecast you see so hmm, this person opening up communicating like i said gemini energy mercury mercury rules communication okay so let us see the world <clears throat> yeah what is this world card about for our feminines Justice, yeah, ending something with karmic or ending karmic lessons. Someone tried to keep them binded or stuck. It could have actually been a spell on this person's heart. All right, it's the King of Cups, Six of Cups, but they have healed something, something connected to relationships or childhood. All right, the magician is here manifesting their heart's desires. So because they have manifested their heart's desires, they're ready to have this brand new beginning and um, be with their soulmate. The Wheel of Fortune also refers to soulmate energy. Okay, so double emphasis with that, with the lovers and the Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Swords, okay, ending something. You may also have, I mean, this is the second reading in a row that's come out like that. This is why emotions are running high. There's things that people can't necessarily speak up on, or I feel like they can, but they have it. And so because of this, it's causing pain. That's what I feel. I'm looking at this Three of Swords like, this is them and what they aren't saying. This is you and what you aren't saying. And then there is the blunt, direct, and straight up truth that needs to be spoken. And because it's not, it's causing all of this pain to the situation where this doesn't have to be the case. All you have to do is say how you're feeling. All they have to do is say how they're feeling. Now, what you decide to do about it thereafter is totally up to the both of you. But you can't just talk about it and then that's it because then you're going to be right back in the same loop where you're made to feel like this. There's questions. Okay. So let us see the Seven of Wands. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. This is them communicating and coming towards you to give you truth. They intuitively know they have to do that, so that's what they're doing. Three of Swords. The Sun card. Okay, so Three of Swords and the Sun card, this is heartbreak. And something come into their awareness, and so now they're happy. Or heartbreak, and now something comes to your awareness, someone communicates, they express themselves, so now you're happy. You know what I mean? Ten of Wands, now the situation is not so difficult anymore. See? Queen of Cups, now you can open your heart again. Now you can be loving and compassionate. Okay, but why am I being loving and compassionate to someone who 
is causing me three of swords. So with that clarity and confirmation, you're going to be able to open up to this person. They're going to be very happy about that because that's what they want. They want you to open up to them again. Okay, four of cups. Seven of cups, yeah, see? Confusion, uncertainty, all that for what? It's something here about this cup in particular that's standing out to me right now. Um, this looks like an arrow, like a golden arrow pointing down to it. Like this is the cup to choose because the seven of cups is all about confusion, right? So with the four of cups, there are offers coming in. Which offer is the one for me? I don't know because I'm getting so many of them, right? But with this one right here, it's like, oh, this is the cup. Choose this cup. You know, you got this one over here. It might be beautiful. It's a rose, but roses eventually are going to fade. So, you know, beauty might be there. You have this one right here. This is a snake, though. You get what I'm saying? It might be able to charm you, but that's about it. You have this one over here. It's like black power. They all about that. And, you know, they, they might be, like, strong, and they might have a lot of pull in that way or something like that, and that's cool. Then you got this person over here. They might have a lot of jewels, and they might own a lot. They might be very materialistic and that's cool then you have this option over here they're very traditional and this and that and you know and that's cool then you have this person over here but they very chaotic and very dramatic you never know what to expect with them and that's just too damn much but this one right here it's a heart of gold it has wings it's an angel you get what i'm saying it's very loving it's very tender so it's like what cup would you choose you get what i'm saying and love is beautiful love is god so it's like, what would you choose? You know, so it's something like that going on here. You got the Eight of Cups, the Lovers, okay, the Queen of Wands. So even if you're not an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay, again, you're just somebody who's very intuitive, especially with the High Priestess coming out here. This could be why this person is feeling a, a way, because they know that you know certain things. Or whether they tell you or not, you're aware So they may as well say something. They may as well do something. Because this Queen of Wands is very intuitive. Seven of Swords, yeah. It's like they can't deceive you. Yeah, you're very intuitive. Ten of Cups, you know that they want this with you. But in order for that to happen, spiritual transformation is going to be needed. Um, them using their best judgment at all times is going to be needed. They're going to have to step outside of their comfort zone and do things to actually earn that Empress energy from you. You know, because you're always an empress, but you're not going to allow them in to certain, hmm, certain aspects of yourself. You see, like, how the high priestess has that curtain up? You will not reveal everything that is behind that curtain, which is all of this. You know, it truthfully represents something else. We know that what the high priestess represents, but I'm talking about right now, in this energy, the way we can look at it at this moment. At this time, everything that is hidden from them, what they're like, oh, I've been trying to observe you and see who you are and how you are and all that we've been talking about in our readings. This is what's behind curtain number one. But you're not going to show them because why would I do that until I see from you what I need to see? You're not being honest with me. You're not being upfront with me. You're not telling me who you are. You're not letting me into your life. I don't really know nothing about you other than what I know about you. And that may not be much. That's how I heard it. So it's like, why am I going to continue to let you in? Nothing will come of that situation. So, you know, everybody's looking at things from a different point of view here, the hang one, in order to get the right point of view. You know what I mean? All right. So let us continue. We got the two of swords. Yeah, this is blind faith. Okay. Going on what feels good as opposed to what it looks like, because it may not always look the best. But the way things have been going or something, we got the page of cups and the two of cups. Apology, reconciliation. Let's get back together. Let's reunite. And then five of wands again. So they're like, oh, you know, this keeps happening. Then they block me out. Well, they need to be strong enough to make some sort of wise decision here. Like I said, world card, justice, death card. I mean, it's not hard to put together. It's not rocket science. They have to end some sort of karmic cycle that they keep themselves stuck in, whatever that karmic cycle is. Okay, so let us see. Let's get deeper. We have intervention, rescue, others involved, financial support, child, alimony, government. Lord happiness all right this person feels very happy right now and like i said you're going to be happy there's some sort of harsh cut off that's coming it's necessary though you know the fake the phony the fraud is getting booted i mean divine feminine divine masculine it's the only one for each other you know what i mean the frauds are not going to be able to keep up for long yeah we have love affair <laughs> Dirty little secret, okay, single. See, it was either that or this, and you wasn't doing that. So they had to make good decisions. You see what I'm saying? 
single current status available rage someone has a lot of pressure built up remember that climax we were talking about archangel michael was protecting you protecting them escapade you know some things may be easier to restrain from than others or refrain from than others <laughs> All right, this person feels like maybe you're being irrational or that's how you felt, okay? Um, they could have felt like you were pretending too, like you weren't really going to end it when you really did though. You know what I'm saying? To focus on yourself and other things. Uh, yeah, see, done. You wasn't playing. He was like, listen, until you come correct, pause. Yeah, I'm doing what spirit is telling me to do. I'm going to sit here chill as the empress I am, but they find you to be insatiable, meaning they always want more. It doesn't matter how much they get. Every time they hear your name, see your name, the car you drive, the place you spend time at. And then there's this person, like I said, that they need to let go of, you know. And so they're being triggered to make the best possible decision, but they're afraid that someone is going to try to make life hell for them. They're getting signs everywhere that they need to just go ahead and wrap that up. But again, they are, are they're moving out of fear right now. They're like, oh, somebody's going to try to do this and they're going to try to do that. And it's like, so you just sit. Yeah, we got this gossip card. There's with a very low vibrational person. My Lord. OK, I tell you. So, yeah, we have settlement here. Mm. They're drawn to you constantly. They're going through something with this person as they go through this with this person. They are it's like they have to move a certain type of way or they feel like this person is going to try to make things hell for them see karmic chess they have to move a certain type of way because child or children may be involved as well or that could just represent the person's immaturity as in whoever this karmic is they could just be very immature so the way that they handle situations the way that they handle your person all of that is just very low vibrational and then the way that your person feels is like i don't want to deal with that you know they don't want to deal with that shit Okay, which why would they? I mean, come on, right? Who realistically wants to deal with that? Let us see what else. But they're still coming after you. Again, they want to come to some sort of agreement. They feel really heartbroken without you. This person misses you because they love you. All right, and they feel like you're avoiding them. Aww. This person feels like you're avoiding them. Focus on your spiritual journey, your ascension, and this is where that fiery climax is coming from. It's like one of you is focused on ascending, the other one has been focused on survival mode because of the energy that that low vibrational person keeps them in. And they really want to talk to you about this. They want something long term with you, something stable, something secure. It keeps coming out like that. It doesn't matter who likes it, who don't like it, who want it, who don't want it. That part is totally irrelevant to your person. They don't care. They could give a crap less, okay, to be honest with you. All right. Only time will tell. All right. Secret admirer energy here. It says, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. All right. So you're like, I don't like the way that they're moving. Well, you have to understand this person is being strategic and it makes sense. Look at the type of energy they're dealing with. That's why I told you guys sometimes, yeah, being in that high feminine um high priestess empress energy notice i said high feminine because yeah you could be a divine feminine but on what level you know what i mean what level you all and you know different shows different folks not any of us are perfect but i'm just saying in the event that you're going to entertain this or respond to it a certain type of way then you're not on that high feminine energy and you have to keep yourself there in order to step out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself to do things different than you've always done them this may have your emotions running high you may want to do things that you shouldn't be doing to protect yourself, to protect your person, to defend yourself or your person. But spirit got that part completely covered. Yes, he surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. They just have to know that and not move out of fear. I mean, this person not wanting them to move on. What does that mean? Been there, done that. You know what I mean? Like people will really show their tail too, I'm telling you. And I get, I 100,000% get why someone wouldn't want to put themselves in that situation. I 100,000% understand it to the utmost, you know, especially with, when there's little ones involved, because people be doing things to retaliate that are just, that's just, 
disturbing. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you don't want to be with me? Then you can't see the baby. Like, what? That's insane. You get what I'm saying? That is insane. What does you two being together have to do with the babies? Like, that is so wild to me. All right. Um, however, this is why they move a certain way for some of you. Okay. Not going to relate to everybody. So just take what resonates with you and leave what does not for who it does within the same reason. Okay. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. See, now I say they love you. That's the, they're not telling you everything. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. You see what I'm saying? Love, love, love. This person loves you. That's three times. All right. Right here, I feel like you're stepping back and focusing on you and what it is that you want to do until this sacred union comes into fruition. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. All right. That's what I feel because this one says it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Isn't that what I said earlier with the interlude card? You ain't playing no darn games. You already know what it is that you want, what you don't want. You're not about to entertain nonsense. All right. It says through adversity, our bond has strengthened. You are my life partner. See? So your situation and your relationship looks different than what other people's relationship may look like with their person. And that's okay. Doesn't change the fact that it's your person. Life is beautiful with you by my side. I would choose you time and time again. Okay. And if you know that they got to move a certain way in order to avoid certain like drama like that in regards to children, like what I mentioned, then just let it be because that's insane. They, they can't see their babies. That's wild. However, men can fight back. There are things that men can do um, in the event that women are acting like that. You have rights too. And if only more men understood that, what their rights really were to their children. If, you, if you're a man, <laughs> when you're a man that wants to be present in your child's life and you're doing everything that you're supposed to do and you're taking care of and you're going above and beyond and all that, they're going to rule in your favor. Keep all your documentation. Keep all what you need. You get what I'm saying? It's going to go in your favor. Settlement. Okay? Somebody's going to have no choice but to compromise with you and let you be. Okay? So here they say, don't let nobody touch it unless that somebody is me. <laughs> I can't help but want you all to myself. Okay? Who would have known you live up to the hype? You are so beautiful. It is unlike any other thing in this world. It was just 22, 22 on the time stamp when I saw it. The signs that I'm getting from the universe let me know that our story is nowhere near complete. Oh. Like 22, 22. Didn't we see synchronicities earlier? Then I just saw 22, 22. We got 222 two, two here, but some of you may be seeing that number in particular. 22, 22, which is like 11, 11 twice. Like y'all mirroring each other to the utmost or something. All right. In a world of uncertainty, you'll be my stone. I love that card. I think that's my favorite. Sometimes I stay awake thinking of you. I want to make this happen. I need you to give me a sign. See, they're getting them everywhere, though. Are they listening? They're just scared. Any and everyone else from my past, I am over. But you, there's absolutely no getting over you. I've tried. I failed. It's impossible to ever get enough of you. No matter how much I get, I can always go for seconds. I will be by your side even on the worst of days. There is no other place I would rather be. I'm going to pause and I'm going to pull another one because I got to tell y'all something. Spirit told me to tell y'all that with that Queen of Wands and that Seven of Swords, for some of you, there is a fire sign, um, karmic, feminine, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So regardless of if they have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, it really doesn't matter. Somewhere on their chart, possibly Mars. Um, yeah, that person is the one who's who's like doing certain things here and there and certain spell work or whatever on your person, on the connection, on you or something. That's just for some of you now. All right. But when we met, it stirred up emotions within that I've avoided for years. It scared me. I ran. I'm sorry. All right. My decision to walk away from you was because I felt like I couldn't be what you need me to be. Okay. And my karmic cycle has taught me a lot about myself. Once I complete my lesson, I am coming home. Okay. So this person already knows what it is that they want. They just have to do what they have to do. Everything happens for a reason. Trust that spirit knows all things. 
Allow this time to unfold naturally. Okay. So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and have